Yeah. Hey Boots. Hey. Hey, uh, hey World. Hello World. We're learning Java world here. World of Enders. The first thing. Thank you very much. Sorry. Hello World of Enders. How are you doing? We're in the script cave. Today we got something pretty special. It was a while ago now that this came to the game. But listen, guys, we had a lot of stuff to get through. Lots of balance. Mm -hmm. We, um... We're going to be acquiring three new exotic weapons with unique, pretty interesting skins. I mean, I, I, I'm curious to see what your opinion of these is, Boots, as we get them. I may ask uh, you a question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry to interrupt you. Um, I noticed that you are, you know, probably your, your camera's centered on your face right now, on your character's face. Yeah, you're you did, in it as well. You did slash yeah. talk to, to make it seem as though you're talking to the, to the people. Yeah, I yeah. am indeed. Uh, yeah. But you are wearing a face mask, so what's the point of slash talk? Because I'm when... gesturing with my hands. Listen, what people don't realize about me is I'm always gesturing Here, with my hands when it. I'm talking. And this at least puts it in game a little bit there. Yeah, but now it looks like I'm the one talking to people because because they could at least see my mouth and see that my face is moving. Yeah, but you're also... Ge Look, it works, okay? This is a genius intro. And what will make it even better, is okay, you. is that they added chairs. So what I've been doing recently... Is I do the slack, I do a wave, I do the the talk, and then I sit in a chair. How do you? Right? How do you? How do you? Uh, <laughs> how do you sit that. in the chair? <laughs> how do you sit in the chair? Okay, so novelty's got added as well. Uh, I'll probably cut this out. <laughs> no, go to your no, this is important go, stuff. They need to know. Go to. It's not what the video is about. Go to novelties, and there's four categories. Yeah, I know, you but where's the keybind? Oh, it's U by default, or you can pr click it Whoa. under your mount up button. There's oh. an actual button on your skill bar under mounting. No. This is I, uh, yeah. Oh, my chair's bigger than yours. Yeah, because it scales a little bit with size. So, I mean, yeah. 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 You've got a better reward. So, uh, actually, it is kind of related. These chairs, guys, you've seen Boots and I collect cats. You've seen us collect rats yeah, right here in this very cave. You saw us collect chairs. And now you're going to see us collect three new weapons there. The results of the designer weapon contest that was run <gasps> around Path of Fire's release were dropped into the game recently. Links in the description if you want to get the full details on how it all came to be. But this time, uh, we're actually going to get in and play it. Because despite all... It's been like um, over a month since they got added now. And I've not done them Dude, <laughs> at wait, all. wait, 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 wait. Remember? What? Okay, where, where can you use these chairs? Anywhere? Uh, no, not anywhere. A lot of places where you know, toys and things like that are disabled, the chairs are disabled too. So you uh, can't use it in... I, th I don't think you can use it in raids and fractals and world stuff. versus world. I but now listen to this. Remember the fact that when you get off a chair, it counts as a dismount? Oh, yes, and it works with the coffee. Yeah. And it works with yeah. the coffee. You get quickness yeah. anywhere now. Yeah, what's interesting as well is you get 10 HP on a chair. People have been doing weird things where they climb on chairs and then fall, and then the chair takes the full damage instead of you. So... <laughs> You never have to worry about it, even as a free-to-play player without mounts and stuff. It's kind of strange. Nice. Anyway, uh, so we're going to start our adventure. Now, the way that this whole quest starts, guys, is when you first log into Lion's Arch, post-patch, and I'm assuming a certain point in story progression, you will get a mail from this guy here, Trask. Uh, so three weeks ago, this got added, and he'll uh, tell you this. So I'm just going to read this out. The subject header being Synergetics Field Testing Request. Uh, and we get a cool little uh, reference to a character who hasn't been in the story for a while. I received your contact information from Professor Gore. So we haven't really seen what he's been doing, despite how instrumental he was in the fight against Zaitan. Right, yeah. Uh, who, he recommended us boots as ideal candidates for field testing new, exciting, and absolutely 100% safe experiments. <laughs> Doesn't sound dodgy at all. Uh, I have attached a recipe for our latest invention, an ectoplasmic matrix infused with in a vision crystal that allows its user to view apparitions and ghostly entities invisible to the naked eye. Wow. Does this remind you, Boots, by the way, of Halloween a little bit? Do you remember the first Halloween where you got a mail and it was about hunting down ghosts and mysterious yeah, phenomena? Bit, you remember that? Bit, yeah. Uh, they're saying they're calling it the infused crystal, or IC for short. Their crew is actively fielding snap uh, sorry, snappier names and is open to suggestions, but I honestly doubt we'll find anything better than that. Please <laughs> construct the IC at your earliest convenience you and test it at the locations described. These places have shown elevated spectral levels and you won't have to do much. Just use the crystal and wander around recording anything abnormal we may find. Thank you for your time, patience, and soon-to-be ectoplasmically infused yeah, oculars. Trask. So there you go. And we get an item here, uh, an ectoplasm infused vision crystal. And the notes of it say this, that we need to combine two lesser vision crystals 
with three vials of blood, six sapphire orbs, and 15 ecto in the Mystic Forge to create one. And that's our recipe. So yeah, that's that's how it. we start. And after this, I don't know what the hell is coming up. Yeah, so I've so, already done mine. Have you done yours yet? No, 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 no. I have the ingredients here in my account slot, just so that people can see. So I'll nip over to the forge then, I guess, and uh, we'll begin the adventure. You'll notice as well that the ingredients are all pretty easy to get, to be honest. Yeah. Um, so any old free-to-play player or new person to Guild Wars 2, this is all you have to spend the whole way through, I think. And you get three exotic weapons out of it. It's a pretty good deal, guys, to get some early exotics. And they look good, too, so. All right. Um, Mystic mighty. Forge. Why is it the what it is, though? Why do they want us to do sapphires? You got any theories? Um, sapphires are known to be the most ghostly um, attuned <laughs> things in the world. Like, did you oh. know? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Are they now? Yeah. Where are you getting that from? Your crap pot? Nan that believes in such things? Yeah, or? mediums. You know, mediums always eat <laughs> sapphires um, all Medi the time. Dude, when I, when I was a kid, I went to like a medium convention. I can't Did even you remember what? why we went. Yeah, seriously, we went to like one of these psychic conventions where you basically get a bunch of uh, crooks in a room that deceive people into believing the psychic phenomenon well, going why on. Why right? did you do that? I, don't, I was a kid, I don't know. My family went. It was like as a day out thing for okay. funsies. Right. I'm not sure. No, just to be clear, before you Did lose you all respect. Did you go as a believer for, or as no, a, no, no, no. I don't okay. exactly. I don't think we went as believers, but we didn't also go as ironic, sniffing our own farts, judging holier than thou, thou people either. I don't know. It was years ago. Anyway, I have one very distinct memory of it. A woman was sitting at a table, and uh, she was getting, you know, her, her reading of her future or something, and she suddenly burst into tears, like wailing hysterically, making a ridiculous public. Uh, scene and like just burst out of the doors fleeing and the the person who was like reading her future or whatever it had supposedly told her someone close to her was going to pass away Whoa. and that's always stuck with me that like wow it's not pure you think that these things are just for a bit of a laugh and a bit funsies but now, they take it seriously second, enough that sounds like a really easy fortune to give it does well yeah i mean i'm i, I don't value the credulity of just, it any like, level. They didn't say they're going to pass away soon. They're just, someone close to you eventually will pass away. Uh, well, I don't know. I got I get the sense, looking back, that, that this woman used the service a lot, and, like, they had a bit of a rapport, and this their, their medium <laughs> and knew them, like, intimately in their mm. family, and they'd been given, perhaps, something quite specific. Uh, but what, what surprises me as an adult looking at it is that that industry is willing to really upset its clients. Yeah. It's not like just a bit of funds. It's, you know, they take themselves seriously enough that they'll do that. Yeah. And that's uh, interesting. Anyway, here you go. Mystic Forge, ectoplasmic infused vision crystal. Hey. What do we do with this? A lesser vision crystal imbued with ecto used to interact with dormant souls. So I believe it's, it says consumable, so I think we consume it. Oh, okay. Oh, we do, yeah. And we get... Ah... And it gives us the collections. Collections. Okay, so let's take a look at these collections. Uh, we got the first item of each of them, the, the Ectoplasm Infused Vision Crystal already. Uh, right. Oh, we could actually take a look at what these look like. Should we look now or should we be surprised when we finally get them? No, let's be surprised. Let's be surprised. They're rare collections. They're rare, man. They're these rare. are not rare collections, ArenaNet. If I can do them in about an hour, they're not rare collections. Well, they're Christ. rare in that there's only one of them. Oh, come on, Boots. This is a miscategorization. <laughs> unique, unique collections, even. Uh, All right. Yeah. Okay, hold so on we've a got, second. We've got three choices. Which one do you want to do? The Healing Air, we do the, best the Guide to Greater Understanding, or the Legend Builder? Which one? I want to do the Healing Air first. Okay. Cool. So we just need to take this new item we've got. There's the item itself. The Scion's Claw is what we'll get out of this, guys. And it says, first of all, uh, we've got all these boxes we need to go through, and each has a hint on how to get to it. And that's that's basically the story here, guys. So scattered self. Hint. First in dry top, look out over a fallen people. I'm guessing okay. the fallen people are... Well, actually, there's two types of fallen people. One, they have the people that fell out of the sky, right? Well, the Zephyrites in both terms, surely, right? Yeah, no, but also I think, like, you know, the... Uh, the the little town there that's that's gone kind of that's not a fallen people is it i, I mean they're they're completely oh prosperity, prosperity. Oh, that's they're an interesting gone. point ah, i reckon it's got to be zephyrites because they're doubling up with a pun right yeah but that's a good point i hadn't thought that the, i suppose the centaurs as well in the old suggestion that they might be a fallen people maybe that's a, even more weird 
But yeah, here we well. get to show off a bit of... You know what? Since H-O-T... Uh, P-O-F came out, I've not really had many excuses to do videos and show people just how broken maps like Dry Top became when Springers became available and stuff. Yeah. So we get a little bit of being able to show that off to people here. Um, so if we have to look out over fallen people... Uh, do you think it's I all the way at the top? It might be at the top, yeah. yeah I was thinking this rock. If you have to look out, you maybe have to do a vista. Is there any other vista besides at the top, top, top? Uh, do you think they do that? Do you think they tie it to vistas? I don't see any others. Yeah. Oh, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's going to be up there, isn't it? It's going to be super high. All right. Well, we can just move on up and see what well, we find. Take a look. What, what are we looking for, though? Are we supposed to press F? Have they added new objects around the world? Or does it just ding oh. an achievement going to the I right don't place? know. We'll find out, I guess. Or we won't we find out, and we'll spend the next hour <laughs> trying to figure this one out. This is going to be great. If you guys enjoyed us aimlessly wandering around looking for cats and looking for rats and whatnot, have we got something? Have we got a <laughs> treat for you today? <laughs> It wouldn't proc off the back of a vista, would it? Oh, wait, hold on a second. It's spirits that we're looking for, right? Oh, yeah, there's a spirit there. Oh, that is new. Look at that. Uh. Oh, so you were right about the vista. Okay, cool. All right, so who is this? So this oh, we get dialogue and everything. This is badass. Nayali. Do you want to read her out? Sure. It wasn't. It wasn't meant to be this way. It wasn't. Wasn't. Are I'm gonna right? give you a ghostly sound effect. Oh, sweet. Actually, I'm not. I'm not because there's gonna be a million ghosts, and I can't be bothered to do that on every single one. Uh, are you alright? What? You can see me? Nobody else. Please, please. I need your help. What can I do? There are pieces of me scattered all over Dry Top. I'm trapped here. Oh, so we're gonna be dedicated to Dry Top for this weapon and the other ones in other maps, maybe? Do you I want me so. to find them? Uh, I don't know how it happened. I don't even know my name, so I guess we'll find them. <laughs> is that an affirmative? I guess. Uh, I'll find them, don't worry. I Oh, look, no, no, she disappeared when it procced. Ah. Healing air. Woo! So I guess Spooky. we got to find another version of her somewhere else. I think they should have delayed this perfectly good content another six months until Halloween, just so that it was on theme. A, A, but then we wouldn't have this content. Oh, that's true. Until Halloween. Okay, um, so next. Then, in Dry Top... Rendezvous with a rabble rousing rock. Rabble rousing rock. I'm guessing it's some sort of uh, event. The updraft of a dream. By the way, have you noticed she's forgotten her name and stuff in death? That's a bit like when we were at the hall. That's uh, right. So she must be in the uh, hall of soul of whatever. Or, place. or she's not because Desmina's messing stuff up. Look, this is this is an extension on the raid law. Hey, the underworld's cool. messing hey, crystal, up. Hey, crystal, of course, crystal. I'm taking it. Okay, uh, then in dry top, rendezvous with a rabble rousing rock. Is there a rock event? Not that I can remember. Rabble rousing though. So like either, I mean, an earth elemental. So, oh, 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 yes, good idea. There's the earth elemental, isn't there? There's the hidden earth elemental. Where? Come to Restoration Refuge. Isn't it not a skill challenge? It's like that little cave thing. I was near it a minute ago. Cut, yeah, the, the waypoint that I just moved to, Restoration okay, Refuge. Well, Get on your well. springer. All right, all right. You're a genius, Boots. I know. Look at but this. why? <laughs> this is a perfect example of two heads being better than one. And then come up here because we don't need pesky Zephyrite magic any longer. Even just regular jumps on the spring areas. I mean, enough. frankly, I'm, I'm just gonna use my griffin. Oh, look at money bags with his griffin over there. Oh yeah. Oh, you've even got a skinned griffin. What one is that? This is the gem store skin. Wait, they're all gem store skins. <laughs> this is the uh, crystal. The what's that, whatever it's called. The the purple. Branded. Does branded. It? Doesn't he summon a death elemental? Maybe. I don't know. No, I I might be wrong. I I, oh, I no. might be wrong. Uh, there's a Hylex, which is, you know, an event that rolls through. A challenge well met. Okay, so that is not an Earth Elemental. No, that is that is not an Earth. I thought there was an Earth Elemental here or something. Can we get out this way? I must be confused with uh, something from HOT. Oh, man, Rabble Rousing Rock. It's not up in the up. This is cool, though. I'm thinking about Dry Top in a way I haven't since Season 2. Yeah. Yeah. I like, I like, I mean, this is the way to do it, right? Put in interesting rewards for interesting collections or events or something 
to make you come back to maps that people don't visit anymore. I'm ready to roll. Yeah, but most people won't think deeply about the maps or try and figure it out, and that frustrates me no end. But that's just what gaming is, and you know the post-internet era, so yeah, it's kind of whatever. I, I wonder about the um, the inquest base over here. Was there any kind of rabble-rousing rock in there? I see a ghost here, but like I was just running around, and I see a ghost here. I don't know if this counts. Well, maybe. Let's go. <laughs> is it the is it the Hylic? Is it near the Hylic area? I can see your blue dot on the map there. Yeah, um, there's like. What's the idea of that skill challenge or that event? The Hylic goes on the rock, right, and you have to pushes fight people him. off. Yeah, you have to like fight him on the rock. But oh god, the sand song just swelled it's up. Are you sure there's a ghost there? Challenge and spar with Nocti. I mean, I guess he's on a rock, and I guess this ghost is on a rock. Okay. And you are well, fighting him technically, now. but technically, in Dry Top, you're always fighting on rocks. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe this one's just a little bit weird. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll, I'm just gonna pressure it out. Did you speak to the ghost? Is yeah. the ghost happy with us? The though, ghost right? is very happy. All right. Okay. Genius. We figured it out. Uh, that's <laughs> only objective number two, <laughs> and that was. Oh no! I got knocked off for the last second. Uh, it's all right. Killed it anyway. It's fine. I'm coming up on my spring air. Okay. So, hello, what's this one? Is it the same ghost? Yeah, it's the same Yeah, two. it's the same ghost. So we just have to keep okay. on looking for Nayeli. Keep an eye out for ghosts. There's a bone fragment lying on the ground. And I'm going to pick up the bone fragment. Is that the... That's... No. Okay, <laughs> Is so... that the rock? The bone? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> I, I don't know. All right, do you want to voice her again? Uh, sure. You. I feel like we met before. A part of you has. You. Do you know where you came from? The sky... We were flying high above this world, and then we weren't. Hmm. So she got taken out in Aaron's sabotage and explosion. Mm -hmm. uh, you were a Zephyrite then? Yes, a Zephyrite, a champion of the aspects, and I desired something? A great purpose? I can't remember. Uh, we need more of you to complete this picture. Interesting. Uh, I wonder whether, as a new player then, you can create the ectoplasmic infusion thing on your first time through the game. Do you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. your first exploration of Dry Top it is now explains a little bit this. more of what happened here. Yeah, exactly. And maybe that's true for the other weapons as well. Oh. All right. So the next objective for healing air, we're looking for duties shards. In Dry Top, deep underground, a light shines as bright as the sun. Well, that's got to be the Leyline Cave, hasn't it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Unless there's something bright in the, the mine, but I doubt it. Right? Deep underground. Well, are, I mean, Dry Top is Dry Top. No, that's the Scrid area in um, Silver Waste that I'm thinking of. All right, let's split up. I'll go to the mine, you go to the Leyline Cave, and if one of us is right, then awesome. Okay. Uh, and we can always just, uh, like, TP to a friend or something. Yeah. Get to use my uh, skimmer over the quicksand here. Ooh, what excitement. Ooh. Okay. And I... Oh, is the quick... Yeah, right. It's the quicksand's good for the skimmer. Yeah, it was one of the little things I was excited about when POF came out. And they did eventually go back and do it. I think on the right on the release patches, it wasn't available or it would still hurt you. But then they fixed it. Okay, the mine was a long shot and it did not work out. Yeah, you're going to have to go to the Leyline Cave. I, I have no idea well, where I am How did you fail storm. going to the Leyline Cave? It's very hard to find in the sandstorm. Okay. Yeah, it's I a shame the POF never had any mental sandstorms like this as well, isn't it? Don't you think? Yeah. It should have. That's true, eh? Because it looks so good. Okay, now I'm in the Leyline Cave. Alright. It's beautiful, just as I remember So it. it's either going to be near Omad's machine, or it's going to be, like, at the the depth, the deep part of the cave that never really, you know, that almost looked like it would be a hub that we could go to, but then it wasn't. Yeah. Hey, remember when the ley line energy increased in flow? Oh, in yeah. And you did a video doing a comparison, I remember. Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> was that what you were going to draw my attention to? Yes. Yeah, it was very cool. That blew my mind that you'd noticed that, and the video showed it really well. Do you th is it still in it at its enhanced state? Do it you is. Believe? It's still in the enhanced state. I think it's going pretty fast. It would be weird for the... Oh, yeah, I found it, Boots. It's over here near the... Um... The hero challenge okay. and i'm just curious while i wait for you to get here whether the hero challenge refers to itself as a bright light powerful coruscating is that a word coruscating uh, current coruscating. of mad yeah of magical energy pulse and surge through this area 
How the hell did a bone fragment from her get all the way down here? Down here. Well, that's a good point. I get it when they're scattered on the surface that the ship explodes and she absolutely. I mean, she she for her body to have been spread like that, she must have dived on the bomb. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. Anyway, pick up the. But maybe a, an animal got you know a leg. Yeah, one of these a chunky. Mordrum took a yeah. Just a, like a Morgan pup or something took it. To or maybe on. before the Morgan moved in and just they you know some wildlife grabbed it and yeah. had a tasty snack. Sure. Anyway, I'm gonna pick up the fragment. Okay. She's speaking. The power here is so unfamiliar. What does that matter? Everything lo what? Everything is lost beyond reach. Wow, she's pretty pessimistic. I guess she's dead. That counts. I think that's fair. If you're going to be a pessimist at any point. Yeah. Uh, not all is lost. You were a champion of the Aspects, remember? I don't know how that is any <laughs> you consolation. Were, you were yeah. a champion of the Aspects. Congratulations. Now you're dead. It would be cool if this was post-Path of Fire. It's like, not all is lost. I came back from the dead. But no, 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 no. <laughs> No, I was to be the Scion's champion. It was my every ambition. I trained my entire life to fulfill that purpose. What now? Whoa, there is another purpose for you. We'll discover it. Look at that. I, I We stole her job. Mm, that's right. We totally took her job. That's cool. And yeah, think about that dialogue, Boots, before you play HOT and POF. And you'd be like, Scion? What Scion? What champion? I, I think things would feel really natural and like smooth with that. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of cool. All right, so next we've got a low spirit. So this is Look in where, the, Yeah, go ahead. Still dry top. Look where waters mend high above the oasis. Okay. I I've mean, got a great pretty... idea for that. That's going to be the waterfall, isn't it? That's going to be the hero challenge of the waterfall. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. They, this one. They've all been hero challenges, if you've noticed. The first one was the hero challenge up at the top. Next was at the Hylic. This is a hero challenge. One was a Vista. Oh, was the first one a Vista? Oh, yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they're all near map objectives, I guess, then. So at least, it's the thing. So, wait, where's the hero challenge? There's a waterfall that feeds the oasis, and uh, it's all the way over there. Oh, look at that. It's perfect. It's here already. Good idea. My, I'm only protecting one eye right protecting. now. I gotta, gotta fix that. Give me a second. The lush greenery and occasional soft rains of the oasis are a pleasant change from the scouring dust of the surrounding region. Hmm. I've I'm picking up the bone on my necro here, so. Lovely. All right. Okay. Nayeli? Bone fragment. There's a bone fragment on the ground. There isn't time to waste. You must direct me to the Scion's egg. The Scion? Aurene? Aurene? Wait, what? What's happened? Where am I? Okay, this wouldn't work before POF now, then. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, and HOT. Uh, you're fractured. I'm here to help you. Why would you? Of what use am I? I, wouldn't, I couldn't protect the Scion, couldn't protect myself. That doesn't matter now. Just trust me. Well, I like the idea that this, this ghost posted the question, why are we helping? And the answer is because we're altruistic, and we're just nice. Yeah, we're the nice. truth is because there's nothing else to do right now. Oh, and we get a sweet <laughs> item out of this. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, I'm doing it for your weapon. I, I, oh, we should I, become the weapon. That's, I think that's the case. I think what's going to happen is, like, because it says you're going to be a new purpose, right? We'll find another purpose for you. So, basically, we're going to trap her inside a weapon. Yeah. We're being very altruistic. Okay. Uh, the next one is a soul re uh, Far to the southwest, high in the sky, there is a place to see both Zephyrite past and future. Far to the southwest, high in the sky. So it's going to be the last waypoint. Yeah, repair station. <gasps> what if it's that um, that like vine wall that's up north up there? Uh, up uh, not north, up in the cliffs that again was never really used for anything. Do you know what I'm talking about? I do not. Okay, so follow me on your Springer again. Okay. God breaking this map is fun. We can come up here. And then there was like a, a Mordrum. I thought that it was where the meta eventually was gonna like expand to when the, the final area opened up, mm -hmm. but it didn't. Uh, it's like on this plateau, Boots. This what it means by seeing their future is a bit weird, but maybe the point is that it's like nearish to where Tarir is or whatever. Seeing maybe? the Zeph. it say seeing the, the Zephyrite's future? Yeah. Uh, what is their future? Well, the desert, I guess, and a bit of... Zep I mean, they should really have a bigger influence than Tarir, I think. Yeah. Okay, hold on. This does not look... But like obviously, the, the Festival of the Whirlwind shows them just flying around now, right? They're back to their old tricks. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, you could jump up here. 
Oh, is it? Really? Well, there's like a ledge over here, right? It's not going to be mount required, is it? I doubt it. I don't think that they'd do that. Even if the story does seem to suggest it's somewhere around there. What about... So they're all near map objectives before. What about this vista? Somewhere near here. There's still jump crystals here, Boots. Yeah, I know, I know. <gasps> Oh my god, I think I just saw it for a brief moment. Was it beautiful? Oh my god, it is. Yeah, it's she's all right there. I, this is going to look so crazy that we got this so quick. But yeah, okay. Jesus. I'm falling. We can't see anything because of the sandstorm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. it's, it blew in as soon as we got to the map and denied us all our pretty vistas. And now we're about to be done and move on. So. Oh, you should totally uh, respond to that guy in map chat. Does anyone play this map anymore? Hell yeah, we do, boy. There's a bone fragment on the ground. Pick up the bone fragment. Uh, look out there. What remains of my people to the east? The repair effort to the west. It must hurt to be separated from your people. It hurt more to be separated. <laughs> oi, oi, this is top class, man. Don't you make fun of that. No, that's such a good line. <laughs> I bet it would hurt, to be honest. Oh my god, that's great. Uh, I like the idea that she's like, what are you talking about, man? I've been blown to <laughs> multiple pieces here. I've got other things <laughs> on my mind. Pieces of me are literally spread over miles. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it hurt more to be separated from myself. I knew I wasn't a whole in body or spirit the moment I woke. Ooh, do you know how this happened? My desire to become the science champion overcame my commitment to the aspects. My very soul was split by it. Oh, and the wait, what? Okay, and now you can be whole again. Okay, so hold on a second. So you can't be a command, uh, like, a champion of the aspects and the champion of the scion? Yeah, I don't know what they were suggesting there at all. It feels very weird. Why? You know? Yeah. Anyway, because of you, let us return to the crash site. Bring me a blade as well. I have proper thanks in mind. So is it our meet, our conversations with her that's helped her out? Or is it the collecting of the bone fragments? Um, probably Let's say it's collecting the bone fragments because yeah. I don't really think we've been a good psycho uh, you know, for her psychology here. In yeah, anyway. yeah. I would say the whole bone fragment is it. Now she's sound in body, ghost body. Okay, so she's... the last thing. I'm yeah. very satisfying. Imbued oiled aura halcum sword blade is what we have to bring. Oh, so there is a bit more crafting. Mm -hmm. A little bit uh, wrong at the head of the video then. Ooh. What? It's interesting to think that sh both versions of her in the engine are here. It's just that the other one's like disabled, so we can't see her. Yeah, I guess. We oh, there you go. Yeah, 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 she seems happy. Go ahead. Uh, thank you for the blade. My love of the aspects of Glint, of her legacy, all of it will go into this weapon. So thank you. I want it to be the science chat. Oh, sorry, sorry, got you. Wow. <laughs> thank Assuming you. <laughs> I wanted to be the science champion, but helping you was my purpose all along. Oh, she was helping us. See? Oh, well, oh. We're more important than the scion. May you find peace. Okay, guys. So what we did was we got Aura uh, Calcum imbue, imbued gear. You can buy this straight off of the TP. It's about four gold each. So yeah. it's not as cheap as I first thought. Yeah, it might, might, might be cheaper if you just craft it because it might be like heightened prices because of this quest itself. Um, yeah, so that's a good point. If you have 400, you don't need the full 500. I think I don't think anyway. Yeah, it says that 400. Uh, you can do it that way. Um, but yeah, that's cool. Okay, so we don't have to charge it at a hero challenge or anything like that. Uh, mm. that's, that's okay, so hold on a second. We got the thing. Science claw. Sweet. That's it. That's it. Let's get him one of the weapons. Pretty Ooh. easy. Nice little exploration of the dry top there. You ready to see what it looks like? I, I'm a necro, so I can't actually equip a sword, but I'm you can. Right on but thieves, you can just preview so. it, can't you? Yeah, but let's see it on you, man. All right, let's all right, all right, all right. Give me a sec. Uh... Put it on. Equip. Oh, should I select stats? Uh, if you like. What, what's available? Pot I like the icon, I have to say. I do like the icon for Celestials it. Celestials there. Seraph. Settlers. Sinisters. It looks like... It looks like everything but POF stuff? Uh, uh I don't see... No, I see oh, yeah, yeah. everything's there. Everything's there. So it's everything. They, that's kind of cool, guys. That means that you can get... Wait, what? Does that mean you can get HOT stats and POF stats on a free-to-play core account? I guess so. I don't want to... Do I want to soulbind this? I guess I do. Okay, here we go. It's happening. Let's see. Ooh. How do I look? Okay, all right. Don't swing it. Just pull it out. That's it. 
I like it's it's one of the tassel weapons. I always like the tassel weapons. Looks quite nice. So there's oh, here's the thing. Some people are gonna be like, yeah, I hate it. It's not big and shiny enough. And other people will be like, oh, I hate it. It's too gaudy. And then you have everyone in between who loves it. I think it's um, great. Nice I little quite like boot. it. Yeah. It's kind of you know what it reminds me of. I mean, it doesn't look that much like it because of the hilt, but the glow of the weapon reminds me a lot of Sting from Lord of the Rings or from. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There are there are orcs nearby boots. Yeah. I'll yeah. say it's definitely on par with like Black Lion weapon skin sets and stuff, right? So it's obviously a really flashy, nice piece. Yeah, it's got a nice uh, like when you swing the weapon, it's got a nice trail to it too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Well, so there you go. That's the first one. That's the Scion's Claw, guys. Again, this was designed by the community, reimagined by the developers, and put in game. This is how it actually looks at the end of the day, with you know your reshade effect in it or whatever. Pretty nice. I like okay, it. so that's the first one. Um, what do you want to do next? We got two more, more available. Uh, okay. The Let Guide to Greater Understanding or Legend Builder. I would like to I understand get... things a little bit more. Okay, you want to do the guide to greater understanding. Right. Okay, so this is for us to find a ghost uh, in the fields of ruin. Ooh, I like that map, and it has very little content. So this is cool. <laughs> okay. Go where the mightiest of the walled city rest. So uh, this is going to be Ebonhawk, oh. and it's going to cause the walled city, right? And right. then what it's going to be is... It's the cemetery. Oh, you're a genius. Obviously, it's the cemetery. Obviously. I was going to say, like, the brothel. <laughs> or the <bar. laughs> Where they rest. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy, but yeah. you're right, because we're looking for ghosts, obviously. So. Yeah. <gasps> Are we actually going to meet one of the ghosts of these actual graves? Are we going to see, like, Nicholas's ghosts? Maybe. Are we going to see Gwen's? I don't know. Let's find out. Well, not Gwen's. Gwen isn't Gwen in the other cemetery? No, Gwen's grave is here. Absolutely. Oh, really? Okay. Yup. Okay, where is and the... uh, Kieran as well, I think, is buried next to her. Maybe? I can't remember. You got some other Ascalonians, like Captain Langmar? No, 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 no. The, uh, the, the, the guy from the Ascalon settlement is buried there at the Ascalon settlement. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of big... There's even a grave here. Obviously, one of the other videos I did with Boots recently, guys, was we did the, the Kill 10 Rats thing and Ravius, and that's honoring a community member. There's another grave here that honors a community member. Uh, I was only reasonably recently-ish here on the Let's Play and talked about it quite a lot. But this far grave over here was actually added post-release with the uh, Crichton Drake Hound and the Lynx. This was a wiki co contributor, Boots. This oh, grave no. here. This? Yeah, this was a community member. And uh, they got uh, they passed away in real life and they got added as a memorial in-game. And I didn't even know about this one until quite recently. Hmm. Uh, so it would be kind of crazy to see if this got a ghost. But I guess not. No, it doesn't look like it, but let's see if we can find... Oh, there we are. Zenith. Ooh, so up at the flute area. I'm going to guess they're not going to do any well-known ghosts, because if we're trapping them all inside... Actually, no, we didn't trap the other spirit in the sword, did she? She just made it for us. Yeah, it just gave us a Zephyrite sword. Okay, so, so we didn't trap her in the sword. Fine, good. Never mind. Wow, so what's the reason for this person to be scattered and split? Let's see. Or is it going to be a totally different story? I don't know. Maybe. Do you want to do your... Uh voice this time all right all right all right i'll voice this one you you're talking to me how are you talking to me who are you you're not a ghost boots anymore you're no i'm asked that's how my character talks <laughs> really now yeah zenif i'm sorry it's just been so long since anyone's heard me why were you moaning oh she was moaning was she oh was she? i see a I see a world that doesn't make sense. Char walking among humans, mourning beside us. The Treaty of Ebonhawk was signed, dumbass. Oh, okay, so I heard about this. Some of you guys pointed this out. Fields of Ruin does tell the story of the treaty and Summit Peak, but it doesn't really nail down the state it was in. And we haven't really got to look back at this story for years now, even though the timeline's continued going. So it's kind of weird, guys. This quest is kind of canon confirming that the treaty was actually signed. Hmm. Kind of a weird idea. Also, I love the idea that we're we're talking to a woman that still hates the char. Yeah. What? How? I was building a blade to battle the char. It embodied the very spirit of Ebonhawk. Uh, that war's over. Ooh. I cannot move on until I finish the blade, and it must represent the spirit of Ebonhawk. Even this new one. Oh, it Will you like be my guide? Mind. 
I like well, it. I don't know. I, I, I'll cut down some char with it. I'll go kill some flame legion. Don't yeah, worry. No, this she's, is like awesome. saying, she's like saying she wants it just to embody the spirit of Evanhawk, and she doesn't mind that if it's the, this new Evanhawk that accepts char. Well, I am not happy with that, so I'm still going to take it to the next of various char. Renegades, Flame Legion, any bugs I can find in the game allowing me to take out even friendly ones like members of the Pact. Okay. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, well then in that case, my eyes are yours, and if And I pop out my eyes and hand them Score over one to for me. Okay, so we got one AP for that. Nice. Um... Now we need to go to Memory Lane. At the top of an abandoned mine, discover the precarious Pillars of Steel. Well, that sounds like the jumping puzzle, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't you think? It's, yeah, yeah, a, it's yeah. literally called a mine as well, isn't it? And it's all weird steel and congregate iron. Yep. And... yep. Let's do it. Show me the okay, way. Okay, let's get moving. An excuse to see the brand. Oh, I like the brand. I mean, we, we don't get enough of it in POF. I was really interested to see that one of the hearts that is here in Field of Ruin talks about how there's constant lightning strikes around and they have to build lightning rod towers. Actually, it's in Blaze Ridge. But they talk about how they need lightning rod towers to stop lightning striking and just hurting people. Mm -hmm. And then in POF, obviously in Vabi, it seems the dev... I couldn't remember that random little tidbit about the brand, but the devs took it to heart and they, they themed the entire Vabi and brand around that aspect, which I thought was really cool. Um, I didn't most people, people don't even think about it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I walked past the entrance. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. always walk past the entrance to this one. What can I say? It's well yeah. hidden, but by design. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> so, they want us to do a JP, do they? Uh, let's take a look. Do you see any I, ghosts from here? I do. I see her. She's all the way up there. Where? I do I'm see the lady. As the wind. Uh, like, a butt on that giant pillar right near us. But oh. she's at the very top. Can we... Or no mounts. No mounts. No mounts, but gliding is accessible, so there's that at least. Yeah. Doing this with screen shake on as well, which I want to note is making it much, much, much more tricky. All right, okay, I see her. All right. Just waiting for boots now. I was taking my time because I wanted you to have a nice... I took you know. my time. It's been three hours since the last edit, man. These mines... Oh, wait, wait, what was that voice? These mines are so different now. You knew this place before the brand. Yeah, this is so weird, the way that you're talking. I get that that's kind of interesting. She'd know what it was like before the brand. Yeah. Yes, the materials here were sound. I used them extensively in my forge. It's strange. What is? Seeing humans fighting alongside Char. I spent my whole life building weapons to kill them. Change is the only constant, even for the dead. Uh, I love how stilted we're reading this out. Okay, <laughs> brilliant. And she moves on. So the blame game. I do like this subject material, though. I have to be honest. Mm -hmm. uh, seek out shattered storms, a twisting tree, and roots deep in stone. So this one isn't immediately evident to me. So wait, how did it start again? I, I just heard the roots deep in stone. S seek out shattered storms. Shattered storms, okay. A twisting tree. And roots deep in stone. Uh, hmm. Isn't there a... Or is that a different map? Well, well the first thing I want to do, Boots, is try out that glade where Colleen's grave is from Ghosts of Ascalon. Rest in peace. Because... Oh, Secluded well, Glen. Yeah, there's like a tree and stuff there. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, hey. yeah. It's in the brand because that's the Shattered Storm. Yeah, yeah, I guess, right? Yeah, that's totally it. Secluded Glen. Well, I... I I don't know 100%, but it's a good starting place. It's so frustrating. Every time I come here, I'm like, man, I've got to get back on my audiobook. I've got, I've got to get that, that story out. People need to know what this is with Colleen. I mean, uh, uh, frankly, I've been listening to the way you've been doing these voices, and I can't wait to hear more of the audiobook. <laughs> of I believe the... me, none of those voices will appear in the audiobook. <laughs> uh, she's not here. Yeah, this isn't right. Are you sure? Rude Stevenson? No? Is not it? Okay, whatever. Yeah, so she's not there. Um, but there could it could be a reference to like a place name or something it, the devs often do this with these kinds of things the, the the puns are based on place names on the map Yeah, but they haven't done that so far. They didn't do without the dry top. So oh, they've been describing the places pretty well Yeah, a shattered storm a twisting tree and roots deep in stone. Okay. We have a shattered storm. We're currently in it Now we got to find a twisted tree Is it still mm. in is it still in here? I don't know. 
that it's... I, I can't think of any twi There's loads of twisted trees on the brand. Loads of them. What if the shattered storm is something else, though? What if it's... I, I don't know. But, I mean, it's got, it's got to be at the Shatterer Storms. What about this? Thunder Break Hills. Thunder Break? A Shattered Storm? Because it's break broken? Yeah, that makes sense. It sounds like a place name thing, maybe? Yeah, let's go I mean, up. you can search one likely location while I another, if you like. No, that's fine. I, I, I think this sounds like our best option right now. Roots Deep in Stone. Shattered I don't remember storm. any big trees here, though. That's the thing. I mean, there are trees. Lots of them. Shattered Storm, Thunder Break. That makes sense, but... Oh, I see her. <laughs> <laughs> that oh, that is tree. pretty... That's pretty trees, cheesy, to be honest. This is not an iconic tree. Let's be real. No. And, I mean, I... there's one that looks just like it over there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like it when the devs do this, because it's like they're just looking at the map of the world and just sort of arbitrarily picking places based on that, rather yeah. than... Yeah. Well, there you go. Okay, thunder break. Sweet. Wait, hold on a so... second. What's roots deep in stone? Oh, because this tree is on a stone? Yeah, it's on a rock, I guess. Oh, obviously that was going to come to mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you see, these char fight day and night to drag this world back to war. Uh, human separatists are just as much to blame. Mm, maybe they are. Sorry, I'm trying to not get sieged here. I don't mind. It, it can we deals deal with like that two more? damage. All right, okay. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, human separatists are just as much to blame. I guess not much has changed at all. Factions of hate might be loud. But they are few. Well, this is weird. It's like it's localized from another language. The way it's written. <laughs> Doesn't it have that like vibe to it? Well, I think sometimes when there's a greater message trying to be portrayed, it becomes much more vague in its talking. Like mm. factions of hate may be loud, but they are few. Like talking about you know, you, you know, stuff that's going on now. Okay, I yeah. get ya. It may be as you say. But great or small, that discord is part of this land. So it must be part of my blade. Uh, there is still more of you for you to see. So the idea is we're taking her on a tour? And but we I deliberately she, showed her that? Hold on a second. She was telling us to meet her places, and now we're showing her places? Yeah, no. I don't know. Maybe it's just in death she's wandering around, and oh, we're letting wait. her pick where to go? No, no, we're picking because we're going to be her eyes. We're going around. Oh, Boots, have you noticed, by the way, the collection UI... Yeah. The icons that we're collecting, each individual item, is actually, it's a beautiful, yeah. like, picture that's un unlocking. Do yeah, you see yeah, that? Yeah, I've seen that. It's really nice. Oh, that's cool. What's the other one that we just got then? I want to see how that looked when it was finished. It was like a purple wavy thing. What was it called again? Healing Air. Here it is. Oh, yeah. It's like just a recolor. But that, yeah. okay, that's cool. All right, so the next one for the guide to great your understanding. A waterfall streams forth with a stone ceiling overhead. A balanced view. That's got to be the Behem Gauntlet, hasn't it? No, that's not on this map. It's on. The, I think it's that place in the eastern side of the map, no? Mm -hmm. Isn't there like an underground water thing? Is there? Maybe I'm thinking of a different map. A waterfall streams forth with a stone ceiling overhead. So a waterfall underground, I think, is the idea, no? Okay, well, I see some a lake with a stone next to it that looks like it might be over it. I just had a thought. Crown. I just had a thought. I haven't done guild missions for a while, but the guild mission, the rush, where you become... What do you become? What do you even become? I can't remember. Chickens, maybe? And you run through the cave. Yeah. Isn't there a cave room that you run through with loads of water? Isn't there a waterfall? Hide in caves, it would be right where Possibly. the guild mission takes Possibly. place. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try there. Okay, you go there. I'm guessing. And I come here. Okay, good luck. Okay, I found a cave with a waterfall, and I found her. Yeah, she's over here, boots. All right, I'm on my way. <laughs> Look at this genius at display here. It's really pretty this waterfall too. Oh, isn't my Springer so cutie booty? Oh, why can't I dye the color of his eyes? Oh, maybe I can and I just don't even know. I wonder if Zenith is a character name from the original game as well or something. I'd heard stories of this place, but could never visit it. The Char held it back in my time. It's quite peaceful, aside from the Drakes and Harpies. Uh -huh. Seems even in nature there's a constant contest between peace and strife. Perhaps that delicate balance is the point. 
Ah, the struggle for survival. Ah. If it's too easy, you get bored and depressed, right? That's right. That's right. Just like we experience in the first world. That's why roller coasters are a thing. Utopias right? are Freak actually Freak you out utopias. a little bit and make you happy again. What? Yeah. Okay, ghost growth. Last one before the uh, Ori Halcom stuff. <laughs> okay. Uh, find the southernmost point where one is closest to the sands beyond. Oh, that's going to be the desert gate. Uh, yeah, makes sense. We we destroyed this. We did really good on this one, Boots. By the way, why isn't this gate open yet? I know, right? Listen, they announced, just before Boots and I did this video, they announced season four is going into season five before the next expansion. Oof. Doesn't that kind of excite you a little bit, Boots? Because it means that the map south of this gate might has a really good chance of being a thing because there's more time Yeah. before we yeah. go to, like... You know the Blood Legion homelands or whatever the next expansion is, right? Can't do. Come on, they they gotta give this to us. This might be the last release of season five. We go behind this gate. I think that there would be some poetry to that. I'd really I like hope. That. Okay, I, I really hope because they do say it's for the security of Eberhag, and you have to be really high level really or something, secret. right? Why exactly? Yep. The gates are very against the branded. Uh, what do you mean by now? Wait. No one came north here. Oh, I feel like he's saying something different nowadays. Uh, there have been updates here. So obviously the other side of the road you can visit in POF and it's collapsed and it's all caved in. But if you spring her onto the roof, all this behind the gate, there's been like three or four updates since 2012 that have adjusted how this canyon looks behind it and added the second gate back there and all that stuff and mm -hmm. manipulated the walls and stuff. Some of them have even been quite recent. So the devs definitely know about it and they remember it. It's just finding a cool moment to do it. Uh, the main, the big ticket item though, the ghost is not here, Boots. Oh. Um. Okay, it's southernmost point to the Where desert. one is closest to the sands beyond. So actually, the southernmost point of the map... It's probably to the east. Yeah, do you think it's over that really cozy area with the ogres? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I think so. Let's go. Oh, I think I found a... Literally just going as south as possible in the map. <laughs> so it's here. I am of course, based on map art, I mean, yes. it could be true that you can get further south from breaking out or just weird areas. We did it. If you, if you really know the map. She's here. She really wants to go to the sands. I've seen this new Ebonhawk. It still bleeds from war. But there is something new that I didn't have in my own time. What's that? Hope, I think I'm ready to forge the blade. Join me where we first met. I will. <laughs> You've had a really interesting uh, a journey. set of dialogue to do for this, <laughs> yep. for this one. It's uh, really good, man. Okay. You've really added something to that role that I don't think could have happened without your specific casting. So good job for nailing right. that. Yeah, I nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it is a show on Netflix, yeah, is it? Fantastic. I need your help. Are you serious? Are you being sarcastic? No, I'm saying it's fantastic. It's uh, it's basically the Great British Bake Off, but with terrible, terrible bakers. Oh, well, the Great British Bake Off does that as well, though. They do lots of comedy episodes where they get comedians on and they are awful and then they just mess about. This is so. All that. I have a question to you. Okay. Do you know what a Victoria Sponge is? Uh, it's a lady named Victoria with the last name Sponge. Oh, you don't know what one is. Interesting. Because to me and basically anyone in the UK, we know what a Victoria sponge is. It's a type of cake, all right? Right, it's uh, a cake. You know, it's like a sandwich cake that's got jam and, you know, uh, it, it, it's a very, uh, it's a vanilla sponge with a layer of jam and quite often a layer of like, um, how would Love I even describe it? Like Queen uh, Victoria herself. Buttery frosting in the middle, right? And, and then it would be like dusted with sugar across the top. Really common thing. But apparently, and people never knew what a Victoria sponge was until the Great British Bake Off started getting exported heavily over to other territories, particularly via Netflix, mm -hmm. at which point everyone's like, oh, I know what Victoria Sponge is now. So I was curious whether you were in that camp. I just uh, started watching the Great British Bake Off like last night on Netflix, the last season. So can I just can I just be clear as well, Boots? The Great British Bake Off is for old people. Yeah, anyway. it sounds about right for me. Okay, all right, cool. I will admit to enjoying watching it myself. <laughs> <laughs> but it is definitely the, uh, that level of show. Okay. Uh, all right, all right, all right. So the, she's, she's done. This sword will represent a new Ebonhawk. It is no longer meant as a weapon of war, but as a means to protect peace. And I will use it for that very purpose. I really, I'm, I'm not hot on this. 
Thank you. I don't know if this new Ebon Hawk will last, but for the first time in a long time, I have hope. Rest now, sweet prince. You've earned it. Sweet prince, nice. Nice ad lib there. <laughs> that wasn't on the script. Uh, and away so I she can't goes. even wield this though, so I lied to her when I said I would use it for that very purpose. I, however, as a scourge, can. So we get Eclipse. Let's see how this looks. Um, it's not going to be anything like Ebonhawk, is it? Let's be real. Oh, it looks just like Ebonhawk. What are you talking about? Or Ebonhawk related in any way. What should I stat it as? Vipers, I guess. Whatever. Yeah. Okay. Wait, no. You should probably do Berserker or something for, uh, for Reaper. Wait, why can I not equip it? Oh, it's a GS. Crap. I thought it was a torch. The other one's the torch. The damn one it. The GS, but that's damn fine it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I was a reaper already as well. Okay, all right, this is fine. Um, let me just quickly reproc this stuff. All right, here we go. So, a new great swords. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm really curious about your opinion of this, Boots, because I'm not trying to be mean to the, the modelers or, or the, the original art or anything. I've always thought this one looks a little bit tacky, just a little bit. What do you think? Again, I'm, I'm having trouble with the, with the hilt... The pommel, the pommel. I'm having trouble with the pommel, not the hilt. Uh, okay, so, so the bit... Or is it the hilt? The crossbar, it's the hilt. essentially, the right? The crossbar, the crossbar, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, too big? It's a bit too big for me. It's a bit okay. too big for me. But I, well, do, I, kinda, I do like the, like, you know, the shining new moon in the middle with the, with the eclipse, you know, the different phase of the moon in between. It's kind of cute. Yeah, um, uh, so this is definitely a love or hate one, I think, for a lot of people. Uh, a, a lot of Mesmers have enjoyed this because it's kind of a good purpley looking weapon that probably does work well on a lot of Mesmers with their GSs. Yeah. To me, I, I kind of like it. I don't really think it hits the moon thing too much. It's very faithful to the original art, so you can't fault them for that. And obviously, people appreciate this kind of stuff, otherwise the art wouldn't have been made. Uh, to me, it just... Uh, I'm trying to not be too rude. It feels like really plastic, like they're just stickers. Like, I, like this is what I'd give to my Barbie doll kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but it's really, I love how shiny it is, actually. The way it's catching the light sometimes is pretty cool. Yeah, I, swing uh, it around, swing it around. Uh, what? So, like, here's the two. Oh, I don't see much of a trail. He's stabbing it out in front of us with the three, the yeah, five. No real can't really see. effects. No, not beyond what Reaper gets, just in general. Yeah. Oh, there you have the it, guys. One, I wonder if the other one only had thief effects on it. Maybe. Uh, I thought there was a little bit of a trail on there. But yeah, another really easy to get, stat selectable, exotic, exotic greatsword. That frankly, whether you like the aesthetic of it or not, it's fancy and different enough from run of the mill skins you'd get that it's still well worth picking yeah. up, I think. It'll work on some characters for sure. Yeah, certainly. All right, that leaves us with Legend Builder. So let's hop to it. The map is Dredge Haunts. <laughs> People don't like Dredge Horde. <laughs> Full <laughs> I of Dredge. I have been there in forever. Uh, mostly, I actually went there today. It's the daily to do one of the JPs there today. Huh. Find warmth at a hearth close to Holbrack. Okay, All right. so one of those little huts, I'm guessing? Yeah, right near the north of the map, surely. It's going to be like at the first waypoint, isn't it? Yeah, maybe. Let's go take a look. One, well, actually, it says, I mean, the first one looks like it's pretty iced over. So I don't know about the first one. Well, there's a campfire here. Oh, okay. Yeah, this looks good. Oh, we're going to find a ghostly Norn, are we? Because the others have been humans. Oh, no, it's a human as well. It's a human as well. Hmm, okay. Uh, so, who, uh, you you be I'll him be and I'll guy, be the, yeah. the player character. Okay. All right, go for it. Fortuitous! I thought <laughs> I'd be dead for a hundred years before communicating with the living. Come get warm. Freezing to death won't make a legend, believe me. Oh, I see. So, is he supposed to be like Scandinavian? Is this the idea? I have no idea what accent I just did. It's good because he's in the mountains. Your challenge is to remember that accent next time you visit him. <laughs> uh, and you are? Uh, back in. Please remember. <laughs> if I'm forgotten, what will be my life or oh, death mean? Oh, oh, oh. Just generic. We're getting some more European, Eastern European accents thrown in here. That's the Norn way, but you're a human. I admire them and try to be like them. But I died before I could be gained renown. I don't know what this accent is anymore. I've been waiting loving it. ever I'm since loving it. for someone leaving to chronicle my deeds. What deeds might those be? I don't have a Norn's prowess, but I have priory knowledge. Forces past left power echoes throughout these mountains. I'll use them to create a great weapon, my legacy. 
Ooh, that seems very noble. Is that what you said? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, good. Will you join me and tell my story after? Jesus Christ. Okay, <laughs> why not? Sure, it sounds like we'll get a weapon out of it. I like his design, by the way, in the clothes he's wearing and stuff. This yeah, is cool, a very Norn-esque human. Yeah. Seems pretty in interesting. Like so, uh, the next location is in Dredgehaunt. Seek a great cat carved in stone. Okay. So, we have to find a uh, one of those leopards, snow leopards. Statues. I'm guessing it's a sh it, it, there's a shrine to one of the, the the spirits of the wild over here, isn't there? Uh, near Lornar's Pass. I don't know whether that's Snow Leopard though. Let's go take a look. Is that bear? I've it's glowing. I feel or like ghostly. I remember a, a this... leopard on top of a mountain somewhere. Yeah, it's bears challenge. Well, you're thinking about in Wayfarer's Foothills, looking at Holbrack. There's all of the spirits of the wild carved into the mountain. Mm. Oh, 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 boots! Isn't it? Isn't the Sons of Svana in the top left of the map? Isn't there a giant icy thing there with that bridge going over that whole chasm? Maybe. I'm gonna go over there, but it could equally be. Um... Oh, we might struggle on this one. I'm not too great with this map. But uh, it, could e it could equally be just a random shrine to one of the spirits of the wild yeah. out here. Yeah. But specifically to Snow Leopard, that they have a stone thing. Uh, yeah, this could... Well, let's just keep looking around, I guess. Or it might be the jo the Jotun might have something. I just hope it's not in a random cave or something that I've never taken the time to properly look at. There's a bear shrine here. Is this where you just were? Uh, yeah, I just went to a bear shrine and it wasn't that. You know, it's kind of cool. The mix of the three maps, the environments. This is very different. The dry top is beautiful in its own way. And this map is beautiful in its own way. Mm. It's cool that we get to go to both. Yeah, I agree. Uh... Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> oh, I kind of want to take a jump over that. Yeah, leg. yeah. I got it, Boots. It's up here. Oh? I got it for all the wrong reasons, though. What do it's, you mean? It's not a giant icy face up here, but for some reason something tipped me off to come here. This is the right shrine though. So very top of the left, the, the very top left leopard snarl shrine. If we're lucky, they'll ask us to go to the bear shrine soon as well, and then we'll get a similar situation. An incredible piece of architecture. I, I, now it's kind of Scottish. Uh, the Norn are, very, are good at so many things. No, redo that. You no, commit. the Norn are good you at so many to... things. It, it's it is it sure is something look at that. Oh, it's something isn't it? Yeah Yeah, yeah, I'd always imagine that transformation would be wondrous <laughs> uh, Death is not quite what I had in mind though Maybe the gimmick of this ghost is that his accent is different each time we see him. Well because just, he's you know, trying he's he's uh, Appropriating other people's cultures, right? So the, he, that's what's happening. <laughs> the mysteries of the afterlife Woo! <laughs> Listen back in I got a question for you, man. Uh -huh. Why are we here? Uh, well, let me tell you power Echoes of the snow leopards around this place. Ooh. Um, it's kind of like a point of interest. You know what I mean? Or no, okay. like a, like right. a hero hero challenge. Okay. Yeah, I'm familiar yeah. with such things. Uh, I suppose uh, this is the last time I'll feel this its wild spirit. He feels the spirits of the wild. Wow, your story's not over yet, friend. Oh, good. We are yet to find you in three more almost arbitrary locations deep in the mountain. Steel scores deep into stone. Start to stop, it's called. Start deep in the mountain, stop. steel scores deep into stone. Do you think that might be the entrance to the dungeon? That's like deep into the mountain and there's like metal around? Sure, I'm gonna go look. This but one that right could equip. Oh, did you find it? Well, this is the entrance to the dungeon. Yeah, is the ghost there? Inside? No. Or, or along that whole corridor, maybe? I'm gonna look outside. Uh, let's see. Ghost, 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 ghost. I swear to God, every time I try and waypoint, I get attacked by random no, wildlife. I don't, I don't think he's here. Okay, well, there is obviously the giant... Uh, dredge c complex in the center of the map. I'm, I'm thinking it's down near the, uh, the, the dungeon. The actual dungeon. What? You know... The Dredge Hunt Cliff Dungeon, the Citadel of Eternity. Sor yeah, Sorrow's Embrace. That's Sorrow's what I said. Embrace. I said to go there. I, yeah. I went to the uh, I went to the map dungeon. Oh, the mini dungeon, yeah, the, the mini dark dungeon. room. Oh no no no! Go to Sorrow's Embrace. Yeah, okay, that's from. All right, all right, all right, all right, good. 
Yeah, I looked on the map when you said you were there. I didn't see your dot, but I thought the game was just being weird or I, I just messed up somehow. Right. Okay, I'm looking in the big horrible dredge room. I see no ghosts so far. It asked us to do a whole JP before, so I wouldn't be surprised if she's super high up. But I think the, the, the hint will be a bit different if they're asking us to do that. Which they very well might, very well might do. Okay, I think I'm going the right way now. Going super deep, deep underground here. Deep Don't the see mountain. anything. There's steel everywhere. This is looking promising. And ghost. No ghost. No ghost. Maybe I really? go... Maybe I go inside the dungeon? No, that doesn't make sense. No, no, no. It'll be on this map, won't it? We'll be in there. No, there's no. Uh, yeah, you gotta kill the Iron Forge moon for it. <laughs> yeah, there's no. Only ghost. story mode. Sorry, man. Something else. Oh, here we go. Wait, am I? Yeah, 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 yeah. I found it. I found Balky. Or Bags. Oh, did you really? Bakin. Oh, you're in the the cave area. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, I should have done a more thorough look up there. Not that, that, Damn. Not that. It's quite a complex uh, place. So, are you near the door? You're really close to me as well. Are you like where there's some ramps that go down super low? Uh, it doesn't go that low actually. It just seems like. But something. it is like a ramp, right? It's like a hint at another level. Or something yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. Something scored into the stone yeah. here. Just yeah, like that sucks. I, I, I had that vaguely on my mind when I was in there, but I was like, oh, I can't be that because I don't think. Yeah. Hello. Is she? Is he down here? Really? Back in. Uh, that that the is the hardest one so far. That's tricky, man. Well, we good job. It. Thank you. Thank okay. you very much. Okay. As soon as I... W oh, I can't even do... Oh, I'm not even going to try. Hey, you're getting shot. As soon as I was stationed here, I discovered that the power of the dwarves still hums beneath these fall. peaks. How long were you an explorer, exactly? Oh, uh, three glorious months. I've only just begun. I wish I could have had more adventures. I wish that too. Oh, uh, three months? Come on, what? Yeah. Man, I've been adventuring on I this Ontario for six years now. The sixth anniversary time. just landed. Why do we need him to build us a weapon? All right. <laughs> so the dredge what? seek riches to the southeast. Pfft, this one, larger than legend, southeast. That's a hundred thousand percent going to be exactly where I just spent a ton of time. All right, let's do ah. it. All right, there's a load of holes in the wall here as well. So he's obviously going to be hidden in just one of them. And uh, it's going to be frustrating as all hell to figure out exactly what, which one it is. Mm -hmm. Although I, I don't have a waypoint down there right now, so I'm on my way. Okay, well, I'm going to go back into the super deep tunnel and just check that. And I'll scour all up and down the cliffs again uh, to see if I can find it. Okay, yeah, I found him. He's at the hero challenge. First place I looked, right at the hero challenge straight away. Um, I got it clear of dredge and everything as well, so. Just ready when you are. Okay, so, yeah, we'll go ahead. The Colossus of Cliffside. Heard of it? Massive, tall as a mountain and twice as imposing? Well, it strode over this space ages ago. His signature is unmistakable. Whoa, that's a bomb. He's talking about the Cliffside Fractal and the giant there. Really? Yeah, that's called the Cliffside Fractal, yeah, and the he's Colossus. a Colossus at the yeah, end of it. Colossus of the Crystal, uh, Cliffside, strode over this place ages... Oh, so it was here. Yeah. It what? Was that here. is a mind blow. No way, really? The idea that they were on Tyrior, like, explodes open the speculation and stuff to do with that Fractal and what yeah. it's depicting. Well, I mean, obviously it was in Tyria because that seemed to be... Uh, that was definitely, you know, there were humans there, right? Well, yeah, but, you know, it's the fractals. It's a messy, you know, amalgamation of all kinds of different things. It can be weird manipulations and strange stuff and reimaginings of, you know, where the line between what really happened and what the fractals are just mm. echoing has happened is is not clear, right? Yeah. But the idea that that thing... But why would this guy know that if he was only an adventurer for three, <laughs> three months? months. How, how old is this a, guy then? He was a goddamn good adventurer is what he was. How old is he then? He knows about the Norn. What's the most contemporary stuff he's been talking about? Oh, uh, we don't know how old the Norn are. So, were the Norn here when the cliffside Norn was here? Norn was here for a long time, yeah. What? This is crazy. I don't feel anything. Huh. Uh, really? There is much speculation about the Colossus's power, but nothing could have prepared me for the sheer magnitude. 
Don't let it distract you. Focus on your purpose. That is my purpose. My wild hunt is to find out more about that thing. All right, one of the coolest <laughs> mysteries of the franchise. It's true. Don't let it distract you. I like how yeah, we just sat there speculating about it, and then he said there is much speculation about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, finally, search high in the sky atop a mountain of timber. Hold on a second, though. Colossus of the cliffside. Yeah. So the fact, so he's from the past, obviously, because he's a ghost. Yeah. So for sure, that means that that uh, that uh, thing was set in the past, not the future. Yeah, well, no, that's been clear for a long time. The devs have been very, tried to be very explicit with people. The fractals are the past. Always, always the past. the past, never the yeah. future. Yeah. The question is just how far in the past. There's an interview where uh, someone was, uh, where one of the, the writers was asked, hey, what is this? Uh, when was this specifically? And they said, yeah, it's the past. And that their perspective on Tyria's past was there were broad categories you could establish that there was like the, the near past, the, the the distant past and then they basically said there's like ancient past uh, which you might think of as the time of the previous elder dragon rising and then mythic past mm -hmm. and that what the cliffside fractal is depicting is most likely you could regard as like mythic past it was something like that that don't quote me a hundred percent on that but that's basically what the, the interview was trying to get across so it's oh, whatever that's de de depicting i think the idea is a very 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 long time ago so didn't we i mean so does that mean that our speculation as as a community that fractals can also reflect the future is that just wrong yeah that's wrong that's absolutely wrong they cannot reflect the future because the devs have said that they, they, they Interesting. can't okay. i think even in game dessa might have had little little nods to that basically over the over the years there, there might be little moments where they basically say yeah it's the past but that is 100 percent the idea it's not future events which is good because it refines fractals in a good way that makes them a bit more tangible to talk about and explore you know yeah yeah um, so huh so colossus could he be a another type of giganticus lupicus we're geniuses, by the way. We didn't even talk about this. We both just came here assuming it was here. And it is here. Can you see him? He's all the way over there. Yeah. Uh, what was your question? It Could it be another type of Giganticus lupicus that existed uh, way back? Well, uh, as far as an ancient creature now extinct, maybe. But I like to think it's further than just fauna. You know, it's, it's not just a creature that evolved on Tyria. I like to think of it as maybe an architect of Tyria or something. More mm -hmm. tightly ingrained into the creation of this world, this universe. Maybe not Tyria the planet, but maybe something larger scope. I mean, to understand him and what he's all about is to understand maybe the true nature of the Elder Dragons and stuff. You know, we're, we're going that far. It's, it's that crazy and cool. To me, he's me. like this franchise's Tom Bombadil. He's like this enigma, this ultimate enigma and interesting thing to wonder about. And I don't know whether any answer really will satisfy him. Yeah. Me, you know, as to how cool it is. That reminds me a lot of the book The Magicians, I think, or like the second or third one of it. Uh, where they they like wandered into the architects of the universe's area and it was giant blue colossuses walking around. Oh, really? That's yeah. awesome, man. It reminds me too of, in terms of other media, Dr. Manhattan um, yeah. Yeah, a little bit. from Watchmen. Uh, I am, by the and way, there's I'm so many cool things time. like the animation as he leaves, right, is the same as when we are teleporting around the fractals. So. Mm. We saw the story of Ark and stuff, other people that can travel through the fractal sort of, right? Yeah. But that's also the idea. He's also a mist traveler like us. He does the same animation. He's not confined to that fractal. He moves beyond it. Yeah, he just leaves. But then there's a the question of who were the cultists that tied him up? He's cool, man. He's really cool. I can't believe they just gave us another nugget about him. I like it. That a human of the Shiver Peaks, <laughs> time that we don't know when they were, who knew about the... I mean, that makes the Norn seem really cool as well, right? Yeah, well, no, he's, I mean, does he only know about this because of the Norn? No, he was He was just there because he likes the Norn as well, right? It was one of the uh, things he's interested in. Well, yeah, but the point is that a guy so ancient, he knows about that freaking Colossus, that he would still be interested in the Norn and the Norn way of life. Makes, the, you know, the Norn can impress him. Do you know what I mean? That I just makes so, the yeah. Norn seem cool to me. Yeah. In a way. His clothes seem really distinct to me too now. I wonder how much they've really been hinting at things. Bakin. Bakin almost sounds a bit like an Orient name as well. Yeah, that's why I was doing the accent. I, oh, I see. I wonder whether um, they'll explain something here. This is it. This is the last conversation as well, guys. So, Oh, no, it's not the last one. We'll go back to where we Do started. Do have to go probably. up higher before jumping? Yeah, I think so. Uh, it's a tricky jump, but you can make it or you can go higher. I went higher. I didn't have the guts. 
I also have the very real desire while editing this video to point something out. He's a human on Tyria, right? And the gods bringing humans to Tyria wasn't even that long ago. So we can say that that basically means tacitly that that Colossus thing from the Fractals was walking on Tyria not even that long ago. Like when the go after the gods came here and brought humans. Right? Like, if you think about the timeline, it might not even have been that far back, which is even crazier, really. Uh, unless we're going to talk about a human that came to Tyria before the general humans did with the gods, which, by the way, isn't a total cul-de-sac of speculation when you look at the uh, incongruences with the Canthans and how they supposedly migrated north to Canther and had nothing to do with the Orion origin of humans. Always pretty cool, guys. Here we go. You can't glide, by the way, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. sweet. All right, Bakin. I am trembling from the wind from... Oh, wait, am I trembling from the wind or from elemental exhilaration? I feel so powerful, I could almost believe I am still alive. <gasps> Keep your head, man. You are very high up and on a precarious ledge. I could never stand with known warriors, though I tried my best. With this power, though... Look at him, he's a Norn fanboy, and he yes. himself is awesome. This is cool. But what about your legacy, Bakin? Come on, man, your weapon will help generations to come. You're right. That is the greatest of accomplishments. Quickly, quickly, let the quest end someplace warmer. Onwards! I like the flavor you've given him, man. I really like Bakin. Okay, is he going to go back to his home now, where we met him? Uh, I guess Echo's so, yeah. end... Uh, and guess. a legend begins at Brandalf Steading. All Bakin needs is an oiled or a Calcum torch. <laughs> <laughs> Seems so tacky randomly, just plopping that in there. Oh, yeah. uh, here's the money sink. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I found him. Cool. What does he say? He says, With the echoes of so much power, this torch will live forever. But I, I'll never be this close to living again. Oh, it is weird, man. The way this is written is really strange. Yeah. Okay, um, you must leave to be remembered. <laughs> like, what is this? What? <laughs> what? This is so waffly and strange. Go on. Uh, the legends never taught me what it feels like to make the hero's choice. Would you have lived your story any differently, though? No. Really? No. Maybe, maybe I would have adventured for four months. Started one <laughs> month earlier. Yes. Four months is the right amount of time. <laughs> I don't think I would have, though. It's been an honor and a privilege to share my last adventure with you. Take this torch. Use it in your greatest deeds. Don't salvage it. That would be very bad. Don't put it into the Mystic Forge, either. Definitely don't do that. Oh, yeah. And tell the others of me. I find that interesting. So we can Mystic Forge, right? To roll for precursors when we get our three weapons. Mm -hmm. You can use a Mystic Forge stone on the last one. Yeah. You want to see what happens? Is fine. Good luck, Balkin. Goodbye. Legend builder complete. Goodbye. Sorry, is that goodbye? <laughs> All right. I, I, I was done with him at that point. That's <laughs> crazy, man. This is probably a really funny video to look at how the quality of the writing could be really quite low and weird. But as long as it's dealing with some kind of world building mystery, you I'll forgive so it. You get so excited. <laughs> Probably a, a terrible admission for me to make there. Okay, so Favor of the Colossus. I see its name, Favor of the Colossus. Oh, yeah. Um, this one is a torch. So what we're going to do is become a Scourge. Unfortunately, Boots can't demo this for you guys. No. Um, and as a Scourge, I'll be able to equip. This looks awesome. I'll, I'll skin it now as Vipers. Oh, my God. Look at that. Oh, yeah, this is the hand one, right? Yeah. Oh, dude, this is cool. Look at the chains hanging around. They got all the tassel stuff. It's a little weird, though. I don't know if this is just the preview that's doing it. I'm going to try to look at you uh, to make sure. Yeah, it was just the preview. That's so weird. What's the preview? Doing? Okay, because when you look at the preview, the ball of light in the middle of it right. uh, is imposed over the fingers. Like, it looks like it's outside the fingers when you look around. But when you um, look at it normally, it's inside Oh, yeah. The yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, that is strange. 
Yeah, that is kind of curious. But it's only on the preview. In the actual weapon, yeah, it's that's kind of gorgeous. It's I really gorgeous. Oh, I've unequipped it now, obviously, <laughs> um, so that I could preview it. What a weird situation to be in. Yeah, the color of it as well is slightly different to normal torches too. Obviously, that's not unheard of for the game. Yeah. But like yeah, that's really flash. That's I nice. like that. It's a shame that it competes so heavily with the Binding of Ipos, to be honest, Yeah. in terms of the kind of thing it is. Um, but now nah, that's unfair. Binding of Ipos gives you a giant demon hand, but on this we're holding demon hands. Well, are they the demon hands Binding or are they Colossus Ipos? hands? Oh, well, yeah, that's the thing, right? They'll be Colossus hands, won't they? And that's another thing, because they, they're the Colossus hands, but these are like metal robot hands. Is he saying that the Colossus is like a red metal robot? Oh, good point. That is strange. Or is it I just mean, obviously they're bound is... together. Is it just this just because this is the materials he had to work with? But you know what's really curious to me about this? That they went with this format of acquisition instead of having us explore the cliffside fractal for this weapon. More likely than anything is that they, <laughs> the, the creator, of the, the drawer of the weapon drew it. It had the metal hands and they said, hey, those hands look kind of like maybe they could be Colossus hands. Let's do this yeah. story about it. May, you're probably right. Maybe the community member had titled it as well, Colossus as well. Mm. I don't know. Did ArenaNet title it or did people title their submissions? I don't know. Uh, but there you have it, guys. So some little uh, nuggets. Uh, as, as, as scathing as you can be of some of the little bits of this, I really like that we get in-game content that we can actually play, spend some time, look back at feel nostalgic about core Tyrion areas, have some fun, and get real unique skins out of I mean, this is really... The, the 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 best way that Guild Wars can do stuff. This is so much better than, oh, it's on the gem store, Woo, 100 gems. You know, this is brilliant. This is really, this really is cool. This is great. Yeah, I like it a lot. And uh, Boots and I will be back for more. We've got some sunken chests to go on an adventure of and some potentially other little things as well uh, that hopefully you guys will see very soon. So thanks for coming along in the adventure, Boots, helping me out. My pleasure. And put your miniature away. It's creeping me out. Okay. <laughs> why do I have... I don't know why I have this. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Until then, I'm going to sit in this. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Life. Roll, play. Roll, play.